Hey everyone, it's Ragnamune. Welcome back to Let's Play Darkstone. In the last episode, we finally got the time orb, and we geared up, and now we're ready. So, let's go kick Drax's ass. Level 29. I cannot believe this mode of the game has pretty much come to the end already. Uh, this is a brand new dungeon design. <laughs> I almost walked into that puddle of poison. Uh, there are new enemies, in case you were wondering. As well as traps ready to kill you. We don't really need to worry about treasure at this point. This is the end of the game. Although, there is some good stuff to be had. Oh! Wyverns and they know fire. How fitting. I just wasted two potions already. That is bull. And I'm poisoned. That is bull. What do I have the strangest feeling? Because those ones know fire that they're going to be completely immune to whatever attack I try doing to them. Big feeling. Also, these are probably the highest makes of the dungeons, like the longest length. They really don't want. Whoa. Here they come. Now I will be going back to town and do repairs because this will most likely, um, game, up oh, there, this will most likely break before we even get to finish off Drac. These guys I'm not too worried about. I can 2-3 hit them. There's the entrance to level 30! Move it! Out of my way! Ow! No! It's ro- Ah, oh, I took the wrong door! Three, two, one, run! Out of my way! You're in my way, move it! Almost there! There it is. Okay, level 29 is done. Level 30. We're so close, guys. We are so close. And these things. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's really generous. They gave us healing potions. And I needed those. So we just go this way. Better save now. Saving often is one of the biggest things to ever do. So there's that. You saved. Gorgon! And they're archers! This is great. The ladies want one last invitation to make me die. 91? Look what level we're on! We should be getting 4,000s from them! Out of the way. Out of the way. Hey, an enchanted bow. Whoa. Not bad. Out of the way, net. Um. Holy crap! Already! Wow! Um, move it. Out of the way. <laughs> out of my way, please. Out of my way. Okay, guys. We've made it. Drax Lair. Save one last time. Well, there's going to be a couple more save times. Just know that this is the last level. 
There is no map. And the skeleton captains are pretty dang easy. There is some treasure to be gotten here. I don't know the map off the top of my head, but there is stuff to do here. And you do have to take a few routes in order to get there. Enemies you'll find in here are the Eye of Cain, Mystical Wyverns, and Skeleton Captains. Almost all the time. Um, in here, if you are a warrior or a priest, I highly recommend this weapon. This is the Jolne. The, the Jolner, the Jolner. It's called the Mjolner, something like that. Uh, this increases your strength and dexterity. I'm going to, I cannot equip it because I don't have any strength. But it'll increase your strength by 30 and increase your strength by 40. It's got 30 to 40 damage. It is unlimited, two-handed. If you want to use this as a warrior... Or priest, I would highly recommend this. It would be great. It would just be great having natural strength and dexterity to increase your damage, along with the 30-40 base. That's enough of me ranting. Moving on. This room here. Oh, there's also scorpions. My bad. The third enemy you run into is scorpions. So those little bastards want to poison us one last time. Well, too bad. I can I can one shot them a couple of times and two shot them eyes. B R B. Sorry about that. My phone went off. Then again, he didn't know I was recording. But, hey, stuff happens. We gotta clear out these enemies just because... Okay. Save now. Save now because up here, guess who, people? It's time for the final boss of the game. Congratulations! To have come this far is truly incredible. But it is also the biggest mistake you've ever made. And the last! You'll soon discover the magnitude of my awesome power. Prepare to meet your match! Okay. I'm going to be spamming poison sp for my magic, I am going to, at the same time, shoot arrows and spam Poison Cloud. You know what, though? First, let's spam Thunder. Why are his eyes like that? Come on. He's, he's a huge... I forgot. He works in two... Yeah. Bring it on, Dragon Breath. First thing you want to do, try to get both of his mystical wyverns out of the way. By that, because he spawned them like a mom, try to lure them away from the dragon. By that, try to drag them all the way to one side of the screen. They will constantly get in your way during the fight. And if you can lure them all the way to one side... Scorpion, go away! That'll be far enough for you. And you can just die. I can kill... I can take one. This dragon breath will more than likely take out half my health. Now I got them.
Capricorn. Scorpion, out of my way. Hey, level up right before... Well, right before we actually start start fighting. It's pretty good. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Smell you later. Okay, last save. After this, it's time to get real. That's right, people. Stuff just got real. Here we go. Drac battle. Engage. Ah, no! He is not killing me today. Next, what we gotta do. Next. Um. I suppose reflections might help. Um, poison cloud, that's right. Okay! Uh, uh. Right now, I'm going to say I can't save one last belt one. Should have really used that for belt two. Another save. Save during like a couple of phases of the fight. The only real phases you need to save for are luring the dragon, luring him, luring the wyverns away. Number one. Number two, using the time orb after his health is at half. Because this will require you to use a belt slot in order to activate it, but you don't need to keep it on the belt. TIME! And I've died. That is what we load our files for, people. I had a feeling I was going to die, but I was hoping not like that. Oh, that was cheap! These things weren't even here when I loaded. Just for that, you guys can go die. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so not only do I have to take care of them things again, like lure these out of the, all these enemies that are in the room, I've also got to lure away the wyverns. Real fantastic. Real fantastic. Um, instead, I'm going to go back... I'm gonna go back to town. I'm gonna gather up a few supplies. Last dungeon of the game, we cannot make any more mistakes. And he has skills available for us. Real nice.
And he's magical exist too. Um, okay, we're gonna go and rest. We're gonna recharge. We're going to sell the weapons here. Repair as well. Like I said, last dungeon, we can't make any mistakes. I'm really into the heat of the battle now. Antidote. Well, it's pretty cool. Oh, look, large shield. I remember, I'm really thinking I should have kept that poison cloud ring. Just for the free use of it. Um, moving on. Let us get back in there. Wow, we're level 30. Well. Poisoned. Ah! Uh, really, that is just... Bowl. Wait, how much does magic bomb do? 39 to 79 for a mana cost of 8. 70 to 41 for a mana cost of 20. So, I could potentially do one poison cloud, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to stick with this. Um, must kill all enemies again. Enemies don't frequently respawn, though. I'll let you know that much. Yes. But that was bull. I lured his wyverns all the way over to that side. Huh. Ah. Disappeared. Did he heal? No, he did not. What sucks is that the wyverns are immune to the poison, so that's why I gotta lure them over here. Both of them. And crap! Time stop! And that, my friends, is how you kick Drax's ass. Although it took me a couple tries. I believe this is where he would go. I won't say it. Because he didn't say it. Now he drops a couple of things. Did he drop a freaking hammer? He drops the dragon scale. A key and the astral hand. We're gonna get into what those do right now. The key. He dropped a freaking hammer. <laughs> First time he dropped anything other than what we were hoping for. 
Use the key in here. And you get to take... Each time you press circle in here, you take gold. It's well worth it. This is his treasury. This is why we're thieves, people. We steal from rich people. Get in my pockets. We just scored like 90,000 gold. Is that not freaking awesome? Now then, to explore the rest of this area. The first thing we're going to do, save! We just beat the final boss of the game, but the game is not over yet. There's a couple of goodies you can get with some of, with that stuff. First, the key gives you access to the treasury, which allows you to get that. Second, what I gotta show you. Let's pick up that bow. Cool. Wait a minute. That is cursed. Look. That is a white bow. Not blue. Ah, crooked scorpion. Um, first, um, second, actually. Um, flamethrower, let's put that on. We can say there is a teleporter somewhere. I just have to find it. There is no map here, so bear with me. Here. This takes us back here. While we're back here, is because there are a few things we can go pick up now. Skeleton Captain! Good God, I tell you. Okay, so since we took the wrong way, I'll have to, do, I'll have to go there again. This time, let's go this way. Oh, I reversed my belts. Good. This won't be that same path. As you can hear, that's a lot of fire, but it's not friendly. But if you make it through here, here's some treasure chests. All three of them will have some potions for you. Potion of Vitalities in two of them. And over here... Uh, there's one last path. Bear with me, people. I am just about done. I'm just about done talking and done and just about done playing this game. But there was one last item to get up here. And, and I can't just meet you there because, well, I've got to get there, and you have to see how to get there. I hit the zero button and there's no map, so you'll have to just bear with me here. Huh, maybe you have to go in from the other side, I believe. Uh, let's go to the fire. Let's take this pass. Ugh. 
I swear to God, I'm gonna find this path if it takes me all night. I know, this should not be taking that long. Scroll. There it is! So it was up here. Okay, kill these scorpions. Um, do you remember the astral, um, the dragon scale? Use it here and you'll get one elixir for each of your stat points. So that's four of them. And there are four skeleton captains. That is how you kill. Okay, that is it. Let us drink these po let us drink these potion of youth. That brings our age back down to twenty. Potions of vitality and the elixirs of vitality do the same thing, so don't worry about diversity. I bought way too many health potions. Very important if you're going to start a new game, whatever you have equipped by the end, which you've saved before you use the Astral Hand on the Monolith, um, that's what you will have starting the next game. So, let us... I do not have enough, I do not have enough mana. Yeah, but you have that. I am comfortable with everything that I have. And I mean everything. Let's go to town. Now, these people will not talk to you because now that you have the means of saving them, they want saved. So, come here to the monolith and we use the astral hand. Now, if any of the townspeople talk to you, you get the end of the game sequence. I'm not allowed to save either. Congratulations, hero! Thanks to your courage and ability, we are finally free from the terrible curse of the monolith. Day is already breaking, and its light represents the victory of order and justice. Yeah, we're running, man. We don't want to be held as here, so we're getting out of here. Sitting, I'm just sitting here and kicking back because our job for the first difficulty is done. That is the game which I have lost. Um, I'm gonna go ahead right now and just say that I had a fun time recording this difficulty since it was from a fresh character. I only died twice. So that was cool. I was hoping not to die at all. And it was just a fun game to play overall. I had fun having my frustrations. I had fun kicking those flying goblins. I'll even admit that I had somewhat of a fun time kicking the Bee Queen's big, fat, ugly, well, whatever the heck it is. Abdomen? If you can call it that. Um... <sighs> This has been my first Let's Play, and I'm very happy that I found the means of doing this, because I found some gameplay of the computer version, which I like the computer version, it's nice. I personally didn't do not own the computer version, but the thing it has over it is, well, 
it's got everything, basically. When you beat the game for the very first time, the bonus menu and new character skins get unlocked. Let me go ahead and save a state now, because... Well, the game's over, so I'm not really playing. Now, I'm going to leave it off with the new heroes. Basically, now you have a square button. Ah, a square button. If you press them, you'll get... Oh, come on. Let me press the square button. Oh, wrong one. You p one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different character skins. So, in reality, you can create a total of 16 unique characters once you've beaten the game the first time. Is that not freaking cool? I looked at this one guy. And it turns out he's nothing, he's like a stone warrior. This one's the same as an Amazon, just a different color. The wizard gets a new hairdo and looks a little, little bit younger. This version of the um, sorceress looks like she's more in tune with nature and more like a witch. The assassin gets a face paint, making it look like he's from a more distinct culture. The thief looks a little more aged. The monk grows a nice beard and is now bald so he looks like one of the more generic monks. And the priestess, pretty much now she's a bit more, how can I say, wild? Um, bonus features. There is a video clip, cinematics, and a gallery. First, let's take a look at the cinematics. So this is basically, you get to see all the cute little cinematics that played through the game. Entering Drax's lair, the beginning, when the monolith appeared, us beating, getting the time orb, the mutation of Drax, as in he's transforming into his dragon form, trying to kick our ass, his death, and when we run away. The gallery, which I will show here, and at the same time, allow me to talk a little bit. Um, the reason I really, really, really wanted to do an LP of this as my first, just bear with me here. I got done watching Lucagen's Let's Play of Quest for Glory 3, and I loved it. She did a fantastic job, and I heard she has a friend that did Quest for Glories 1, 2, and 4, which I'm going to go watch very soon. Um, second... The game itself, once I took a look, another look at it, kind of reminded me of what those old school games were like back in the day. So it was pretty cool to see certain games like this. So Luka, so I would like to thank Lukajin for having that certain Let's Play up when I looked at it. You are just one awesome Let's Player, even though I recently subscribed to you. Um, another thing is it's it's thanks to you that I wanted to let's play this particular game. Second, to Chugga Conroy, because I would really just like to say I've watched a lot of your work. I am ve I'm I was I'm taken aback by it most of the time. I'm just it's like I bow to you, my friend. I bow. I am literally bowing to you right now. I am not worthy to bask in your glory. And your commentary, the way you present it in live format rather than post, um, that's the way I, w I really like. I I really prefer it, and I love live commentaries. So, this is what made me want to commentate over this: the live commentaries. And then, lastly, Nintendo Capri Sun. Um, you are just an awesome person. You've got a bit of what both pe a bit of both of Chugga Conroy and Lukajin. I know that you three are good friends, um, but seriously, you guys, all three of you, you're you're just incre you're just incredible, amazing, outstanding. I, I I can't just express how grateful I am that you guys exist because it's given me a lot to do, and I'm just happy. I I. I'm not going to say I love you, because then people would probably, if they ever watch this, would say, 
oh, this is boring, this is boring, this is boring, he's just saying shout outs just to get him subscribers, no, I honestly and truly believe you three deserve every piece of credit that you've gotten thus far, and you're going to get in the future. And with that said, um, again, you three just, you keep at it because just you three are amazing and I can't really say much more. I just repeat what I say. Um, but with that, this is Ragnamune, um, ending the novice let's play, the novice version of Let's Play Dark Stone. If I do, if I, if you guys want me to, or if I decide I need, I'd like to, in order to give me some more time, not, well, in order to just get myself into a, into a com more comfortable position doing commentaries, because I really love Let's, I like doing Let's, I would love doing Let's Plays, I dreamed of doing Let's Plays ever since I saw all three of them do theirs, but I never found the good, I never found stuff to do it, but it works. So then, I'm going to leave you with this movie clip. The video clip. Um, it is a very good song. I cannot remember the name of it, the life of me. However, it will be posted at the end of this video. I want you to watch it in the good quality that it was made for. Instead of the crappy microphone style quality. So, again, thank you so much guys. Tucker Conway, Luca Jin, and NCS. You, you inspired me to do this. All three of you. I thank you. And I'm happy that... I, I can I can safely say I feel like I've entered the world of Let's Plays. So I will see all of you, whoever watches this out there, next time for the start of Expert Mode. I will see you then. Enjoy this movie clip. Shelter, a mountain too high. Save your soul, you gotta fight. The evil and the dragon with your weapon. Save your soul, or the dark storm will shine. Step by step, you'll find a way to save your soul. The dogs don't want to shine The dogs don't want to shine Find the way